What's going on YouTube? It's Blood Swinging Gears 87. I wanted to show you guys this dash that I have in my car before I um change it out. This is a Dakota Dakota digital dash. This is the typical digital dash that they make. But um we're gonna be replacing this one with uh one of the new HDX dashes that they have. And I just wanted to show you guys this one before I uh get rid of it. It's a pretty neat dash. Everything works perfectly fine on it, but I just wanted to, uh, you know, try this new dash that they have and put it in here. I, I actually have one of the new HDX dashes in my 6.4 and I, I love it. Like you can change it all kind of different colors and do all this crazy things with it. So once I saw that they made one for the Caprice, uh, you know, the Caprice Classic box Chevys or whatever, I just, I, I had to have it. So <laughs> I ordered it like maybe the day after that I saw that it was available. So anyway, I just want to show you guys my old dash before I put the new one in. And uh, this is the interior in the box. I can show you that real quick. Just a little look around. You guys can see how uh, fresh it came out. It looks pretty good. But anyway, this is the dash again. Let me get out so you guys can get another little angle of it. It actually matches the paint pretty nicely. But the new dash, you can change it so many colors and do so many things with it that I think it's going to be pretty dope. I'm pretty sure I can make the new dash light up that same color and maybe even add some green to it. Turquoise and green to match the paint in my interior. But we about to get started. Get started on taking the old dash out and installing the new one. So I'll check back in with you guys shortly so you can see my progress, see how it's coming along. What's going on y'all so i decided i would uh come out here and give y'all a little update on how my dash turned out because uh that, that video from the beginning of this video when i had the old dash in here that was actually a couple years ago and right now i just <laughs> i decided i finally come out here and do the update i've been meaning, meaning to do this for a long time so here we are this right here is the dakota digital hdx and the old dash that I had in this car was also made by Dakota Digital, but it's just one of the, their um, older models. And when this one came out, I knew I wanted to upgrade and uh, try this dash out. So in just a second, I'm gonna get my phone out here and show y'all some of the settings and the different things it can do. Because um, I feel like a lot of people that do have this dash, you don't see them do that many videos showing you the stuff that it can do. Um, They don't show you how you can like link the dash to your phone via Bluetooth. And there's an app that you can use on the phone to control this dash. All the different options. You can play with the colors, all that different kind of stuff like that. But yeah, the old dash I had in here was also made by Dakota Digital, but it was not this one. This is like one of their newer models. And it's just a, a huge upgrade over the one that I had in there. So let me just, I'm gonna turn it on real quick. So y'all can see what it looks like. And let me zoom in so y'all can see real quick. But you can customize the colors on this dash as well. They have a bunch of preset colors or you can customize them to uh, whatever color you want it to be. And for me, I picked these colors here because the gauges, which I think that color is minty fresh or something like that. I'm almost for certain that color is called minty fresh. It matches the outside of my car. It basically is pretty close to my paint job. And then the needles, that particular color may be coolant or 
antifreeze. I think it's cooling. But I did that color because the inside of my car is green. So I thought that was, I thought that was dope. The dash basically matches the car, the inside and the outside of it. And on this particular dash, um, to be able to enter setup mode and all of that, they have this little kind of controller thing right here where you have to hit these buttons and hold them for a few seconds and they'll let you enter setup mode. And then once you're in setup mode, you can uh, use the app on your phone and change all kinds of different settings. Now, I also have one of these dashes in my 6.4 but the way that dash is made there was so much extra room like on the dash part that they actually have those little buttons for the inner and setup mode they like attached onto the dash right here and i believe it's the same way on the donks but the way that a box chevy's dash is made i guess they just didn't have room for it so they give you an extra little piece and you can uh, mount it wherever you want to and i picked right there like right under the dash yep so Anyway, y'all see what it looks like? I'll go ahead and grab my phone right quick and just uh, put, it, put it in demo mode so y'all can see a couple of the colors and things that it can run through. And then after that, I will show you on the phone how you can literally change the theme of the dash, like the colors and all of that. Then I'll crank the car up and let y'all just see how the dash links up in the app real time and shows you what's going on in the car. So let me get my phone out and then I'll show y'all what we got going on. All right, so here we go. This right here, got the Dakota Digital app in the phone. You're just gonna click that. Now it's gonna scan for the dash. Once it sees it via Bluetooth, we're gonna bam, click that. And now you can go into the app and do all kinds of different changes that you wanna do. You can do them here on the phone within the app. You can also do them using this little controller thing right here, but it's way easier to do it on the app. But before we can make changes, even though we have the um, app connected to the dash now and we are in the app, you have to, let me see if I can do this. Uh, hard to do it in one hand while holding the camera, but you have to go in here, hold these two buttons for a few seconds to enter setup mode. And bam, there we go. Now we in setup mode. So now I can show y'all. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna just put it on demo mode for just a second, so you can see it'll just run through some of the colors and stuff. You see, it asks you if you want to turn it on or not. I'm gonna slide it over to on. Now the dash is just run through some of the different colors and things that pop up on here. It's pretty neat, man. Being able to go in here and just have so many options and settings and things you can do on the app. And I mean with the dash. But right now it's just basically running through the different colors. Showing you some of the other little stuff that pops up on here. But I'll go ahead, right now I'm gonna um, turn demo mode off. I just wanted y'all to see that real quick. So if you like, a, if you had a car show or something like that and you just got the car sitting, you can put it on demo mode and then it just run through the stuff like this. It's pretty dope. But once we come back to the app, you slide demo mode off. We go back to my customized settings that I have here. But uh, let me see if I can, Get this I'm trying to do it with one hand so y'all can see it all right i'm gonna just uh change the gauge color by showing you on the phone how you can do it i'm gonna go to setup you see go to lighting and well before i do that look check this out you can go in here and change some of the settings on all of this different stuff it's amazing but um, I was just gonna show y'all lighting real quick. How you can go to different themes. And I mean, right now you see, that's my custom theme that I got saved. I believe the colors on that theme are minty, fresh, and coolant. 
think that's the colors I have saved on here. But these are some of the preset colors that they have, which um, mint green also flows with my car. I like that one as well. But I'm gonna just click these so y'all can see them. We got white hot, white gauges, red needles, ice white, you hit that, bam. We got white gauges, blue needles, incandescent, it's got that old school look to it. Ty Dash's look in most cars. What, what we got next? Yellow flare, bam. So I mean, no matter what color your car is, there's an option in here. And if you don't like the preset ones, like I said, you can just, you can go to uh, customize. There's like a little customize option. Oh, uh, let me see here. That's mint green. I think that one actually flows with my car pretty well. But we got emerald, bam. I'm trying to do this and get the phone up here at the same time. It's kind of hard to catch it on wild aqua. What's, what else we got here? I'm trying to get the focus. Steel blue, ice and fire, vivid orchid, wild rose, fire and ice. That's the wild rose, vivid orchid, Steel blue, ice and fire. It's crazy. So, all right, I'm out of the uh, setup menu. You can see right here, you can also change what it displays in this middle part right here. But I, I have it showing the um, volts, the gear the car is in, how fast you're going, and the tech. So, I mean, you got the gauges and everything. But right here, I also have like a little digital display. You can probably read that even quicker. And I also added the, um, a little module that shows what gear I'm in. So whenever I change gears, it shows it all right there. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna uh, crank the car up real quick, and then I'll show y'all how you can also see the real-time gauges on the app. Let me go ahead and crank it right quick. So the box is running right now. I'm gonna just click on real time gauges. And that's currently everything that's going on. Water temperature, oil pressure, current speed, which we sitting still in the garage. So zero, obviously. The tack right there is on 700. And that's how much gas I got in here. Volts is at 13.1. I'm gonna just hit the gas real quick so I can see the tack is actually, you know, it's real time. See that? It's dope, man. There's all this new technology that's constantly dropping. And these old schools more new and up to date. It's dope. Yeah, man, if y'all are interested in getting one of these dashes, I would highly recommend it. I got one in my six fold, got one in my box. They just, I don't know, they, they fire, man. Just something new that you can add to these old schools to bring them up to 2022. But I think I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the car in a minute. I'm gonna wash it up. And then maybe when it gets a little darker, maybe I'll uh, ride down the street, try to get a video that y'all see what it's looking like in here while I'm riding. Oh, hold up. Let me show this to y'all too. Let me see. I don't know why it looks like it's hard to catch it, but you see, when I change gears, I got the little module that shows you what gear I'm in. Now that is an extra module, but I put the um, I'll put the part number and all of that stuff into the description for that that particular module that controls the gear shifting because that's that's separate. That didn't come with the dash. I had to buy that separate. And I have like a link to where you can buy that dash and all this stuff like that. I'll put it in the description as well.
But let me, I'm, I'm about to go ahead and wash this thing up and then I'll check back in with y'all in a minute. And um, when it's a little dark out, maybe I'll hit the street right quick so y'all can see what it's looking like. Hold up, I'm back already. I'm in to show y'all this, I forgot. But they also got the um, turn signals on here. Which some people probably don't care about that. But I love that they have that on here, man. That's just a nice little touch. That they still they have that added on here. The all uh, turn signals and all of that. So you can see what's going on. And let me see. I'm gonna turn my brights on. They got like a they got a little signal to let you know that the bright lights on, all of that. Which I think is fire. It's dope to include all of that on here. All right, let me pull this thing out and watch it real quick. All right, y'all, check it out. Just washed it up. Y'all, look at this paint flip right quick. Y'all, look at this, look at this. Jeez! <laughs> Ooh, we got that thing flipping. This is the first, like, legit good wash I done put on this thing. Whew. It's wet. It's flipping how it's supposed to. But um, I got my AC back working too. I ain't really talked too much about that either. And I probably won't because um well y'all know in the last update video I was working on the AC putting all the new components in and I took it to a shop for them to recharge it and the shop was trash man so I ain't even do no update on it. I was gonna get a shot a shot out, but they just they did some foolishness man so no shout out for them. It is what it is. But the AC is working. So I'ma um take this thing for a spin right quick. Had the AC blowing, seeing how it's feeling in there. And uh when it gets a little darker, I'll come back. We'll probably hop back in the car and go for another little ride so y'all can see the dash when the car's in motion at night. Woo! Look at the paint living, man. Going from that green, got the blue right down in the trunk. That's crazy. But right, I'll probably um try to do a little recording while we rolling and then uh we'll come back when it's later on. Y'all can look at the dash again. Enough to where you can get a good look at the bed. 
I just wanted to show y'all this thing flipping real quick before I get in there. Flipping. When I got the AC on, it's pulling my bolts down. When I turn them off, it like instantly shoots back up. Let me see, I'm about to turn the AC off right quick. Yeah, so that, that thing's draining the battery a little bit. But, y'all see the dash. I'm about to get on the road real quick, just so y'all can see it in motion. It's looking good.